Dude, since this pandemic, there's been that movie that I've been waiting to see on the big screen. This is it. This is it. Amazing job. Uh, now, I read that you watched every Kong and Godzilla movie in preparation for this job. What new insight into the characters uh, did that give you? Well, I think it more like just gave me insight into like how I perceived them over my entire life. You know, it's like, you know, because, you know, obviously with Godzilla, he's 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 been quite a bit different in, you know, through the years. And and and, and that was one of the things that um, upon rewatching it that I really enjoyed seeing how, you know, he started as a bad guy, he became a good guy, bad guy again. He just kind of swings right back and forth. And. I, I, that's why I was excited that I ended up getting kind of the the luck of the draw of the MonsterVerse films, and I got to do the the bad Godzilla, which you know that that's the funnest one to do because you get to blow the most stuff up. And uh, <laughs> you I know. mean, look for for me, I'm I'm I fell in love with Tokusatsu because of Godzilla. So coming into this, I was a Godzilla fan, but watching the film, you do such a great job of humanizing these characters. Mm -hmm. I just fell in love with King Kong too, but. Uh, Watching the whole series must have inspired a bunch of Easter eggs. Uh, how much did you layer that into the film? Well, you know, like the, I would say that the Easter eggs are more kind of like directly related to um, the, the original King Kong versus Godzilla. And I, I wouldn't even so much call them Easter eggs as they're, they're pretty obvious kind of homages, you know, like one of them, obviously people have seen, which is like the helicopters carrying Kong is, is a direct homage to the, the, the hot air balloon thing that's carrying them. Um, you know, like the homages that I had in the film were were more kind of based around '80s action movies right. and and you know just you know weird blockbuster cinema. You know, obviously there's some Jaws stuff. There's you know a lot of Die Hard. You know, um, people have started picking out the Lethal Weapon two stuff in there. And so um, weirdly, those were more of like the Easter eggs. And there's all kinds of stuff in the film, um, but. Uh, you know, when it came to Godzilla and, and, and Kong, though, I, I really just, you know, like I, they're, they're, I, I felt like that the, the other MonsterVerse films had already done such a good job of kind of layering in a lot of like those kind of uh, past homages and, you know, those kind of things that it, it felt like now it was just time to try to do, break as much new ground as possible. And, and, and so my take was always like, let's try to see like these characters do things that we've never seen them do before as much as possible. Now, were there, were there any creatures that you wanted to use but uh, didn't fit into this film? Um, I, I wouldn't say that I was, uh, I, I would say this movie actually like, you know, without spoiling anything, it, it kind of gave me the benefit of being able to use the uh, another creature that's not Godzilla and Kong, uh, if you can call him a creature, uh, that, um, that, if 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 it was just given up to me and I was able to decide any any monster like you know this monster would have been in it, um, so I, I felt very fortunate because the movie just kind of synced up with with what I would have wanted to do anyways. And you know like you know for me it's like the uh, the other monster first directors got to kind of reestablish what Godzilla looked like in 2014 and then you know like Doherty obviously got to do a lot of like the villains you know like Ghidorah and Rodan so he got to play with that and then obviously like uh, Jordan you know with Kong Skull Island got to do his version of Kong so you know um, for me it was about updating those characters but not necessarily coming up with my own fresh take on it um, but, you know, I did get to do that on, you know, like the monster, which will not be unnamed for now. Um, and so that was, uh, you know, a real thrill for me because, you know, it's just, it's just so cool to be able to put your fingerprint on something that's so iconic and, you know, and be able to update it for a new audience. Honestly, when I saw that monster, I lost it. it amazing. I couldn't, I, it's amazing seeing that on the big screen, but or on the screen, but just, I want to see it on a big screen now, but amazing job, man. This film is so phenomenal. Amazing job. And uh, I can't wait to talk to you again. So much Thank fun. Thank you, man. Appreciate I it. Appreciate it.